At this point, if you've been on Twitter, you've seen the video of the Lebanese man who held a bank hostage. He walked into a bank, poured gasoline on himself, and held all the tellers hostage saying, I want my money. Give me my money. Uh, it's reported that he had about $210,000 in the bank. The reports are coming out saying that his fam he had family members in the hospital and was trying to pay off medical bills. Uh, based on a BBC article, it seems as though a negotiator negotiated a deal with him to walk out of the bank with about $35,000 US. As of right now, there are no uh, plans or officials have not yet said whether the man will face charges or not. So he is free right now. Many in Lebanon are calling him a hero as Lebanon's banking system has gone far too aggressive and is putting limits on how much their uh, citizens can actually withdraw. Yeah, and it's it's it, the thing that's very interesting to me is that this is being portrayed in Western media, or at least the stories that I have seen, uh, specifically on the BBC, as he's being portrayed as a hero. So the BBC headline is, Lebanon man hailed hero for holding be Beirut bank hostage over savings. And that is, it's interesting that they are not portraying him as like a demon and trying to vilify this behavior, because it would it seems like it would understandably incentivize other people to do to take similar actions. And so that's the part of the story that I find the most fascinating. Uh, I empathize so strongly with him. It's totally bullshit. And, you know, these kinds of stories are so easy to kind of like push off as like, oh, that's some other random third world country. Uh, and we need to be thinking about it from the perspective of this could happen, this will happen, in my opinion, more and more. And it will start to happen in countries that we think of as being um, more secure from a financial perspective. So what do you think, you? I mean, you, you said it so perfectly. Like this is in America, you are one email away from Chase or Bank of America or Wells Fargo, or whoever you do hold a bank with, an account with, emailing you and saying something to the tune of, you can only withdraw $500 a day now. You can only withdraw five thousand dollars a day, or whatever uh, arbitrary number or limitation that they want to put on the money that you have gone out to earn and make, which is why we Bitcoin. This is this is the exact scenario why you should be your own bank. I think the very interesting thing here is the fact that the ground swelling support that this man has received, and I think Lebanese officials are looking at this situation and saying to themselves, if we lock this guy up there could be an uprising of hundreds more of people exactly like him doing this. Not just if we let him go, people thinking, oh, well, if I do it, I'll get away with it. But also on the other side of just pissing a lot of, let me tell you, man, when you piss off a lot of brown people who don't agree with you, they take to the streets. They take to the fucking streets, all right? So that is that is well within the realm of possibility here. I'm going to keep a very close eye to see how Lebanon really responds to this what could be inspiring and truly like the one percent of one percent chance like smallest odds here is the lebanese officials hear this man's complaint and then say to the banks enough with this like increase the limits like that's not going to happen but that would be the best case scenario out of this i mean it could happen if they as you said if they fear by the way and you're joking, but this is not just something that affects brown people. Everyone in the world, like people think of their their savings as being secure and something that they can have when they need access to it. And we somehow transitioned. I mean, it makes sense because we are moving closer and closer to being a cashless society, which is not a good thing, in my opinion. Um, but people expect to be able to take their money out. And when they can't, you know, bad shit happens. And so I think the only way that they would tell the banks to increase their limits is if, again, as you said, they were afraid of the negative repercussions of not doing so, which they very well may be. We, we've said that old saying of where th you're three meals away from a revolution. Well, you're one email, oh, you're one email from your bank away from a revolution too now, apparently. I mean, there's a big difference between a single man going in with a gun and, uh, and everyone you're, taking to the streets, but you're not telling not me if Wells Fargo sent an email to, all clients here in America, or even I'll play, I'll play it like this. Wells Fargo sent an email just to people who bank with them in the state of Texas or the state of Florida or the state of California. Even you really don't think people will be up in arms saying like, dude, I, 
I need to spend $5,000 a day. Like you can't limit my withdrawals. You can't limit my transactions. My business is going to fail as a result. So there's, a, there's also an important distinction here. Maybe you know the answer to this. What, did the bank say to him, you cannot withdraw this money, money in any form? Or was it, you cannot have it as cash? I'm assuming there, it was in any form. There was a, a limit to how much he could withdraw. That was the jurisdictional law in place in Lebanon. They've essentially limited how much you can withdraw from a bank account. And whether, I see- Whether digitally the, or in, in physical it, currency, right? Totally. Yeah, but okay. my understanding is he's trying to do it into physical currency. And I want to bring up something that Phil C said, like no bank is going to let you withdraw $210,000. Exactly. You're absolutely right. But he wasn't trying to withdraw $210,000. He was trying to withdraw enough to what him and his family claim is to pay for his father's medical bills and a couple other family members who were in the hospital. So not even trying to withdraw the whole amount, but ultimately who are you and I to tell anyone what they can or can't do with their money? If you absolutely want to withdraw- no one. If you want to withdraw almost a quarter of a million dollars from your bank account and go put it on black, honestly, man, I really hope it hits for your sake. Yeah, I mean, again, as you're just saying, you can't do that today in this country. You go to you, now, supposedly you can if you like go in and you give them enough notice because they don't, you know, keep that much cash and all that stuff. But um, I mean, in the U.S. right now, if you go into a bank, uh, you know, pants on or off, doesn't matter. Uh, and demand to take out, you know, 25K, they're going to be like, well, what are you doing with this? And if you try to say like, well, look, it's my money. I do what I want. Uh, you're going to have some uncomfortable questions. And it's uh, it's insane that they are able to do that. So 